So it seems like Warren Buffett and a lot of other investors were wrong about Apple. So in the past few months, it really looked like Apple was going down, as unbelievable as that might have seemed. Like Apple, which is the savings account stock that you could just park your money in it, take it in and out whenever you want, and just enjoy the free gains and the tiny dividend they throw in as well on the side. And while everyone was losing faith in Apple, I just would just think that how could Apple be replaced? Like Apple's products are just so good and they have such good pricing power and everything despite improvements and and negative changes that have happened in the company overall they make phenomenal products like i don't know how i or anyone could just live without apple products i know it sounds very like fanboyish but their stuff is just the best and even though their products have stopped like evolving and changing and getting crazy new features their products are still like essential so even if the iphone 20 is like the same as the iPhone 15. If your iPhone breaks, you're gonna just buy another iPhone. Maybe they're not gonna sell as many because there's not that many differences, so not that many people, but they've also increased their prices a lot. So back in the day when everyone would, would flock to buy a new iPhone, a new iPhone 5 or 6 or something like that, the prices of the iPhones were a lot cheaper than they are now. So now they might have less people buying them, but they're a lot more expensive. But anyway, now we have some closure after apple announced apple intelligence which is their kind of ai thing and you can just tell by the name apple intelligence that they are probably attempting to take ai and just make it their own just like they made f mobile phones their own by making iphone airpods like th whatever they do they just it's like no one says chocolate spread, they say Nutella, and Nutella is a brand. Apple just does that with electronic things, and they might just be doing it with AI. They do have many, many years of people's data and people's everyday activities through people's iPhones, Apple Watches, a little bit like Tesla, like how Tesla has a little edge in the market because it's it's been studying the roads and all this for self-driving from longer than any other car company. Apple has also been, I mean, so has Google and Microsoft and all these other companies have also been studying people for a long time. But Apple is also up there. Like it's had things like Apple Watches, which many people are wearing day and night monitoring their every movement so i feel like i'm happy to know that apple is reclaiming its place as the savings account stock where you can just park your money in it and not worry too much about it and it also shows us that always following what warren buffett does or what michael burry does is not always right or wrong there is still the future ahead of us like this spike in apple doesn't mean that this is it now apple's gonna just go to the moon from here it could collapse tomorrow like who knows but it does give some hope after all the after all the negative comments about apple stock and uh, apple as a company and that it's not like how it used to be and that it's over for apple and people do make fun of that apple glass goggles thing whatever it's called apple vision pro or something but i feel like this is more like a prototype and now with their ai thing they could make a much simpler more versatile version maybe even like a contact lens in the future or something much simpler or a chip or I don't know what they could make, but they could actually make something really good and charge a lot of money for it and everyone's gonna buy it. Maybe just not this huge ski mask thing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share and subscribe and remember, and remember that nothing in this video is financial advice and it's for entertainment purposes only. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.